Legacy is a public service announcement brought to you by your friends at D-Generation e X. Hey YouTubers, D-Generation Hanks here and uh, welcome to another one of my rants. And today's rant is involving the apparent addition of Jenny McCarthy to the cast of The View, or I, me and, and um, uh, ballsy straight guys like to call The Spew. She, of course, is uh, going to be replacing uh, Joy Behar uh, on the show, jo or I like to call Joy Blowhard, being that she is a big mouth and doesn't know what she's talking about half the time. Um, basically, the uh, the rant is involving all these uh, apparently social media things that are coming up that people are complaining about ha that that she's been on there, and oddly enough, it is not on the general stuff that they would normally complain about when it comes to something like this. They th you know usually you say oh she they she they don't want her because she was a playmate and she's a comedian and all that kind of stuff, which I don't get why. I mean you know. Joy Behar was supposed is was supposed to be a comedian, and even though she kind of failed in that, and she's mostly just a big mouth. She has her own show on um, H uh, HLN, um, Headline News. Uh, got Whoopi Goldberg, uh, you know, <laughs> she's she's not really funny, <laughs> uh, and her acting's not that good. The only thing good that she's ever done is play Guinan on Star Trek. It, you know, it's not the end thing. The complaints are is that Jenny McCarthy is an advocate for the stopping of immunization on children. Um, now, I don't know. I'm most what I mostly associate Jenny McCarthy with is her stance on autism. Her child, her son, is autistic supposedly, and um, when I say supposedly, I say I don't believe most of this autism stuff. I think it's something else, um, because you know it seems like you know I've heard of autism years and you know for the last thirty years, and that now people are freaking out about it. Um, they think it's an epidemic or something. It's, I'm thinking it's just something else, um, but that's a different rant altogether. And I'm thinking, I'm guessing that the reason why Jenny McCarthy's against immunization is that she blames it for how her child became autistic. I you know I'm I think I saw something about that a few years ago, but that's what that's her main what her main cause love and that's turning people off for her being on the show. Um, what this is this is the one uh, cr uh, kooky um, um, liberal um, uh, activist bullshit that you, that you viewers don't want don't want to talk about. On this show, this show, so this show is a platform for liberalism. It's a, it's basically a big Obama kiss ass show. Um, you look how many times he's ever he's been on the show. He's been on the show just as many times he's been on vacation, and um, and you just and you're just complaining because one woman, uh, is, you know, do something which you think might hurt children. Of course, I, me personally, I don't agree with her either. But I'm not going to discredit let that discredit her for being on the show. I mean, most of these dinghies on this show have, you know, even stupider um, um, rants to go on. So, you know, it's nothing new <laughs> for, for this show, especially. Um, I mean, I would rather have Jenny McCarthy keep on acting. I mean, you know, she's been on a lot. I mean, I like her doing a lot of comical things. She's just starred in a lot of movies. Oddly enough, she's done, you know, stuff that late she would do before J Carmen Electra or after Carmen Electra. So, you know, so I'm expecting sooner or later Carmen Electra might be on the, added to the cast of The Talk on CBS <laughs> just to compete with Jenny McCarthy. Um, and you hear it here first. You know, it seems like when one does something, the other one does, so does the same thing. You know, I mean, Jenny McCarthy, you know, uh, Carmen Electra was on Tripping the Rift as six, then Jenny McCarthy took over the character in the next season. So, I don't know. But <laughs> but just no, don't let this one thing, because, you know, the whole show is just one big kooky opinion, a liberally opinionated show anyway. You know, and it's just a big, uh, you know, blah, 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 yak fest, you know, just like most other talk shows. So, hey, she might come up with, um, she might bring some better light. I mean, why is it that when a woman that usually does appeal to men go on these shows, she's the one that gets attacked? 
Yeah, I don't. I think this, you know, this, you know, people complaining about her stance on immunization is really a front, just so that these bitches, can, you know, don't look like they're jealous because she was a Playboy playmate, and she, of course, was a Playboy playmate of the year. I think she was a playmate of the year after Ann Nicole Smith, but she's not as, you know, um, out, you know, out there as Ann Nicole Smith was. Um, she's she's done a lot. She's done a lot of movies, a lot better movies. Um, yeah, I know, you know, the scary movie series, eh, but, you know, um, and she still poses for Playboy occasionally, so, <clears throat> but, um, it don't, don't get on her for, you know, just because of one, you know, one outrageous belief, you know, the show's a big bastion of that, so that's just my, um, two cents on the matter, um, uh, good luck to Jenny when she starts being on the show in September, and um, just hopefully we still get to see her naked on Playboy and everything. That's that's you know I that's my hope for all this. And uh, stay tuned here uh, for more um, <laughs> rants and commentaries and whatnot here on the Weirdo Network. See ya. Well, I guess if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Sir!